Hello YouTube and welcome to a new season of Omega Craft. This is Omega Craft 4. I'm in the Omega Craft 4 server world which I just turned on now. And here we are. Just gonna dig some sand. Digging sand is fun. Yeah. So you may have noticed that the last series did die in the end. Well it was because I just sort of wanted to edit my videos a bit. And I didn't get the like ability to do that because I got Sony Vegas Pro. Now I've got that now, which is really nice. I really like it. However, the videos that I had before, when I tried to edit them with it, like the sound files wouldn't like. How do I put this? It wouldn't load the sound into the um into the uh, thing. Yeah, I'm not very good at this, am I? Uh, I want to do... Ooh, what's that thing? This... Oh, no, I want that on. And I want the... Um... I thought there was something for this. I want that on fast. It's better that way. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Um... So, now that I can edit them... Well, now that I'm recording this new season with this new, slightly different mod pack, that's why it's called four instead of three, like it was before. It's only slightly different. Um, well, what's going to happen is you're going to see a bit of a change, not that much, but we will get on to that later. So I'm just collecting some resources because I need to, because I may as well. And yeah, so what I was saying was the record. Okay, I remember that I forgot to say this, but it was that the recordings that I'd done before, the um, the sound didn't load. But now I'm lo I'm saving the sound file separately, so I can load that up on top. If you see what I mean. So that's, in my opinion, quite clever. So that means I can then load that. I don't have to worry. Okay. I think that seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, that sounds reasonable to me. That's basically what's happening. Okay, right. So this is a completely new world. Uh, you may have noticed I have started with tools. That is simply because I'm playing on a bucket server or MC PC Plus or whatever it's called. Uh, it's a type of server which allows you to install bucket plugins and the main plugin I've got installed is Essentials well no, that's the only plugin I've got installed at the moment in fact and what it, that does is it gives you um, extra commands that are essential for the server pretty much um, and it also means that you start with tools there is an option to disable it but I can't be bothered because it just speeds things up if I've already got some tools to start with if you know what I mean which makes things a tiny bit quicker, because then I don't have to make wood tools in the end either, which is also quite nice. Uh, okay, this is good. So I'm just get some cobblestone, and we can move on to the next location. I don't plan to hang out in the jungle for that long. I'm probably going to go into the swamp, but I'm trying to find an extreme hills biome. Preferably, that's what I'm looking for here. Because I want emeralds. They are essential for the task ahead. I want to go through the list of mods. I'm going to put the mods in the description for the, this video. Unlike with the last season, for like the 11 episodes that I had on that, I didn't actually show the mods list. But that's because that pack. That um, mod pack was a little bit in development at the time, so I hadn't really got, I hadn't really finalised it, and it's gone through a few changes to become this pack, which is a finalised 1.6 pack. There may be a few extra mods thrown in because I, I believe I've got 60 mods, 63, and I believe I can have more than that, so. I should put that on 60 because I want a tiny little bit more performance. Yeah, 
Like, yeah, you can see my FPS is quite high, but I do get lag spikes, which are weird, because it's not like FPS lag, and I don't crash because of my FPS usually. It's just general crashing. So, for your information, you might be thinking this pack seems pretty much the same as the other one. If I go through my list of stuff, I have been looking at saplings. I think that's from the other test world. So, there's a bit of stuff that's going on, like. Not that many. Cave Cross has got some new things in it. The nanites there don't work. What nanites will do is what happens is um, there's a new biome in Cave Croft called the Omega Biome, and I plan to find one of those at some point. Not to live in, but just because I want to show you it, basically. Um, what happens is it gives you. There are these guys who live in there, and they carry empty nanites and you can like kill them and get them so if you also get name tags off them because they're soldiers so they're Omega Force soldiers so they have their dog tag name taggy things that you just have like that um so they are around somewhere I'm not entirely certain where but they are here they do exist and they drop nanites, and later nanites, what they'll do is you can um, craft, you can uh, heal yourself with them. I tried uh, messing with bucket commands to do that, but it doesn't work. So like the the uh, essentials command slash heal will fully restore your health and hunger. So if I, I'll just show this as an example. So you get your nanite basically, hold it in your hand, and you right click with it. And as as you can see, it doesn't actually do anything with it, but it will drop your nanite on the floor, and it will be empty. And then you can uh, refill them by using the Cape Crafter's magical dust, which you can get. Only downside is this thing. This little bugger. He's not going away ever. He will always be there. It's really annoying because I don't know how to get rid of him. I'm just going to kill all of them because later on I can make more. I just need to keep at least one beef spare. This thing's quite nice. I'm only extremely lost by him now, which is nice. There's also red flowers here. I need a red mushroom and one of each sapling now. That's all I need to progress to the next stage of my work on Cavecraft. Though you can't really do anything at that stage, which is kind of disappointing. So it may be a while before I actually get started in my mod. I can hear a zombie. I'm not gonna lie, I can't hear a zombie right now. There's a tiny bit of lag on the server. It, it's probably because... Well, actually, I don't know why it's being slow. Now it's picked up again. It's cool. Um, shouldn't be that bad. I've got a gig of RAM dedicated to it, so... <laughs> And then I've got four on my Minecraft itself. It's alright, I think. Should be okay. Just gravel not gonna give me any flints at all. No. Apparently not. So it is sunset-ish. There are sheep over there, I have seen them. I'm just gonna push these cows and then go pick up those sheep. I need wool. So I'm gonna make a bed. Flag, spikes, everywhere. Oh, little baby zombie dude. Oh shit, he's strong. Fuck. Okay, right, that did not go to plan. To be honest with you. Let's return to my base so I can make a bed. Well, not, but it's not really a base, it's more just sort of a crafting table and a furnace together. Let's get over there and see it in the distance. Luckily, I have a higher render distance than I used to. So I used to have a really 
I had it on like tiny something. Yeah, it was just tiny, I think. Bed. Well, on the bed. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Daytime. Alright, lovely day. Let's uh, keep going and finding things. Now, I saw the copper, so I'm probably going to go and grab that. Now, I can make some bronze. And that means I can go mining properly. Make a backpack. A it's a miner's backpack. I want yeah no miner's uh, two wool and four string. Um, I don't have any string, but other than that, I could do it probably. <laughs> yeah, and there's a cow there. There's a sheep there. Actually, no, I'd need, I'd need more wool after that, wouldn't I? Because there's only one sheep here. And it's not like there's anything around that could we get more things off that sheep. Oh, mining is excitement. I'm probably not going to mine on camera because that will just be a long mining trip. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see me mining. So, well, for like ages, I mean... Like, it's not that interesting. So I'm gonna make some bronze and then I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna pause the video recording and then I'm going to um, do some mining, I think. Sound good? I think it does. I'm just gonna kill all the sheep, to be honest. Hey, every single one of them. Because their wool is useful for me. This is a. Uh, oh, it's a. KB KB cave of sorts. There's also a cave. Oh, there's iron here. I don't need to make bronze then. Cool. Iron is better than bronze, so. Actually, no, I think they're about the same. I think they're the same in this. Realistically, iron is better than bronze, yeah. But in this, they're the same. God, it's dark. I've got brightness on full as well. I always put brightness on full, I don't know why, I just do. I, I, do, I like, oh no, wait, it was a lighting error. Well, it was a bit dark, and there wasn't any light like, getting in at all. Okay, I'm. Pr oh, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what I just found? Set. Home mine. I think I've just found the Omega Bite. Oh god. Alright. I'm just gonna come out of this hole just to show you the Omega Bite, which I think I've just seen on the main in the mini map. Yeah, here it is. This is the Omega Biome. Cavecraft. It's a little bit dark earth. For anyone who wants to know, Cavecraft does use the like equivalent exchange textures quite a lot simply because of the fact that it is my version of equivalent exchange to plus like a little bit more it will I initially made it as like a remake for equivalent exchange but now I've sort of changed that a bit so it's kind of just like um it's just another mod I'll probably change the texture in the future to be not equivalent exchangey but keeping like the same items and stuff. Right, you can go up with this. So I kind of want it to be night time now, so I can show you the uh, soldiers. So I might actually just set it to night time to show you. I may need to go and create mode because I'll probably die. <laughs> but I'm more just doing this as an example to show you guys. This dark earth doesn't really do anything, it's just a block, if you're wondering. Uh, let's set it, I'm going to set it to night time, just get this copper, and there's a lot of stuff to be mined here. Okay, night time. 
So as you can see, it's 